Well, I've just been surprised. I've cut my 10 mil bits of the special plastic and I don't know if you can actually see, but there's saw marks in there. And I thought, I'll just grind those off with the belt sander. So I went like this. And that's what I got. Dirt. Just dirt. Didn't sand it at all, just rubbed grinder dirt in. Now if you remember, it said it had excellent abrasive capacity. Well, I'd certainly agree with that. And I looked at that and thought, shit, what will I do now then? So I came up with another idea. So I thought, okay, what shall we do now? Let's get some bigger guns out. Let's go and get a grinder with the old, good old flappy disc on there. Surely that's got to do some good. So with my dirt on here, away we go. All it's done is take that dirt off. And if anything, polish where the dirt was, you probably won't get it, but the saw marks are still there. So it wasn't working at all. So I thought, okay, what else? So I got some 40 grit sandpaper on an orbital sander, did the same thing. More even dirt than the belt sander. So it just wasn't working. So then I thought, okay, I'm not gonna be able to sand it off. How am I going to get it off? Well, then I thought, chisel. So that's what I did. Got this, put it in the vise. Put the chisel flat and then taking bits off about probably half as thick as a plastic bag and I flattened it out with a really sharp chisel I mean this is really sharp so that special plastic is well worth it it's really good so I've cut my discs of plastic Mark them out in that zigzag pattern along here, boom, 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 boom. Drilled them with a five mil drill bit and now I'm tapping them out with a six millimeter tap. And the screw that's gonna go in here is a countersunk stainless thing that fits in the hole and that goes underneath so it's flush. In there like that. Nice and fixed. Ooh. Okay, now as I said before, I'm really impressed with this um, polyurethane. It's really good. But anyway, so now you can see they're all mounted on there like that. And then we had to mount the wheel like this. So what I did was just get some of the same pipe as the hammer is made of, cut it into a square, then I just cut the corners off it like that, grinded the corners there, and then we got a nice round tip one because it makes it look nicer. This will weld onto here like that, which gives me about a one mil clearance from the back of the wheel. So by changing the distance between here and here, we can move this wheel in and out. And as I said, there'll be a slot in there so we can adjust that distance. So these are gonna get welded onto there, but before that, I'll draw these holes in there. Oh, by the way, did I tell you how good this plastic was? I'm just really impressed. Um, I really wanna make sure that they're all the same length. So when I cut them, I put a, a um, 
what would you call like a stop form on the floor and they're all about exactly the same you can just see a smidgy little bit of light between one and the other so that's good enough for me just an absolute smidge that smidge if it's going to wear down then it'll be gone so yes moving along it's coming along pretty good I thought I'd get just a little bit closer Yee. A little bit closer so you could see exactly what I meant. So we've got our uh, nice rounded bracket. We have our zombie hog wheel. This will go like that and weld onto here. And then a slot will be cut in there so the wheel can move backwards and forwards like that. So that's just in case you couldn't quite see what I was doing before and by the same token there's my ruler now, I don't know if you can see but there's bugger all light that you can see through those so yeah it's gonna work well look at this check this out woohoo that is really nice and tight so when it be on the hammer, it will be like this. And there is no play in there whatsoever. And one thing I really jagged. Can you see that? That radius and that radius butt up. These wheels are just off this side bit by an absolute smidgen. Talk about snug fit right on the inside of that radius. So that works an absolute treat it's um it feels really positive you know there's, there's there's just no slack in it it's great got my slots in there so i can adjust the wheels if i have to wow <laughs> i reckon that's great you know when you do something and you hope it'll work and now I've finished this and it's working and it's lovely and tight and feels really secure you think wow that's really good I really like that and it makes you proud of your work you know you envisioned it and dreamt it in your head and then bang you've made it it's here and it's actually working better than what I thought it would I'm I'm just wrapped I reckon that's <laughs> it's just great.